Today the police were still sifting through the wreckage looking for clues. It wasn't until 12.30 this afternoon that police removed the shattered body of caretaker Mr Ernie Abbott. A team of more than 40 police have now joined the hunt for the bomber. The size and type of the device is still unknown, but the damage to Trades Hall is severe. Shattered windows sprayed glass for many metres around the building. Mr Phil Manser was working in the building when the bomb went off. I was rather stunned for a second and couldn't quite uh, appreciate what it was. My ears were still ringing and I th was looking up at the ceiling. I thought a bomb had been dropped from on high on the hall. Uh, that was my first reaction and then noticed the door and window had been blasted through and uh, then gingerly looked out into the corridor expecting to, well not knowing what to expect actually. Mr Jim Knox was a personal friend of the victim. They went through the 1951 waterfront dispute together. Now Mr Knox is under police protection. He believes this attack is just the forerunner of more violence against the union movement. It's a murder. Sheer murder. That's what it is. And uh, the person or persons responsible, if they believe by committing these type of acts, placing bombs in the trades halls or in trade union offices or anywhere at all, an attempt to intimidate the trade union movement and its leadership, then they better think again. The Prime Minister expressed his horror and dismay at the bombing, saying it was probably the work of a deranged person. But he strongly denies any suggestion the government contributed to a climate of hatred against the union movement. I, I think I would not encourage you to pursue this. Uh, politics in New Zealand is uh, a good deal uh, less hard than it is in many other countries and uh, we don't get this kind of thing in New Zealand as a rule. Coming into a more violent political era now? No, I don't. The police say they have no real idea of the motive for the blast. The man heading the inquiry, Detective Inspector Ted Lyons, says they will certainly be taking a close look at known right-wing extremist groups. Here in Wellington, the experts say there's probably only one such group who might be involved in this kind of attack a neo-Nazi group hanging around on the fringes of the punk rock scene. But the police have other leads to follow. A gang's work trust had an office in the hall. Could they have been the target? Was the bomb directed against just one particular union? Tonight, the inquiry continues, with the police still facing many unanswered questions.